rewrite of an existing draft by another writer. And this is what happens in Hollywood is one writer does the draft and then another one gets hired and rewrites that one and then another one comes in and rewrites that one. And generally, this results in a bad script. Um, in the case of Demolition Man, I don't know, does, who, show of hands, who knows this movie? So I Woo! Okay. Um, uh, in the original draft that I received, the Sylvester Stallone character, who is put essentially in cryogenic sleep during the 80s, during the action-packed 80s, and then he wakes up in this kind of peaceful future. And the whole joke is that he's an 80s action character now in this future where violence is not, is not um, you know, applauded. And, but the, the movie opened with him being put into cryogenic sleep. And I went to Joel Silver and I said, I said, Joel, basically what you have is you have the Wizard of Oz, but you cut out Kansas. <laughs> and if you don't have Kansas, Oz isn't so special. And I argued that we needed to have a sequence that showed Stallone kicking ass in the 80s in this kind of dystopian, kind of crappy world so that we could see in the future, now it's all shiny and happy. So the scene that opens the movie, I, I conceived it, but I didn't actually write it. He said, that's a great idea for a scene, but the scene you wrote is crap, so we're gonna rewrite that. <laughs> and the only other thing in the movie that's mine is there's a scene where Sandra Bullock is trying to mimic all this 80s action hero dialogue, so she says to Sly, come on, let's go out and blow these guys. <laughs> and Stallone says, away. <laughs> <laughs>